This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is the structure of modal cilia? Answer, modal cilia consists of nine doublet plus two singlet arrangement of microtubules. Question, what is the structure of the basal body of cilia? Answer, the basal body consists of nine microtubule triplets with no central microtubules. Question, what is the function of non-modal cilia? Answer, non-modal cilia work as chemical signal sensors and have a role in signal transduction and cell growth control. Question, what are the potential consequences of of ciliary dysgenesis. Answer, dysgenesis may lead to polycystic kidney disease, mitral valve prolapse, or retinal degeneration. Question, what is axomal dynein and what is its role in ciliary movement? Answer, axomal dynein is an paste that links peripheral nine doublets and causes bending of cilium by differential sliding of doublets. Question, how do gap junctions enable coordinated ciliary movement? Answer, gap junctions enable coordinated ciliary movement by allowing for communication and coordination between cilia. Question, what is the role of microtubules in cilia? Answer, the microtubules in cilia are arranged in a specific pattern, such as nine doublets and two singlet in modal cilia that allow for the movement of cilia. Question, what is the function of primary cilia? Answer, primary cilia act as chemical signal sensors and play a role in signal transduction and cell growth control. Question, what is the role of basal body in cilia? Answer, the basal body serves as the base of the cilium and anchors it to the cell membrane. It also plays a role in the formation and maintenance of cilia. Question, how does dysgenesis affect cilia? Answer, dysgenesis, or abnormal development of cilia, can lead to various health problems such as polycystic kidney disease, mitral valve prolapse, or retinal degeneration. Question, what is the function of a T-PASE in cilia? Answer, a T-PASE, such as axomal dynein, is responsible for the movement of cilia by linking peripheral nine doublets and causing bending of cilium by differential sliding of doublets. Question, what is the role of gap junctions in cilia? Answer, gap junctions play a role in coordinating the movement of cilia by allowing for communication and coordination between cilia. Question, what is the difference between modile and non-modile cilia? Answer, modile cilia are capable of movement and are typically found in structures such as the respiratory tract or reproductive system, while non-modile or primary cilia are primarily involved in chemical sensing and signal transduction. Question, how does the structure of cilia affect their function? Answer, the structure of cilia, such as the arrangement of microtubules, determines the type of movement and function of cilia. For example, the nine doublet plus two singlet arrangement in modal cilia allows for the movement of cilia and the microtubule triplets in basal body anchors the cilia to the cell membrane. Question, how does ciliary dysgenesis lead to health problems? Answer, ciliary dysgenesis can lead to health problems such as polycystic kidney disease, mitral valve prolapse, or retinal degeneration generation by disrupting the normal function of cilia in these systems. Question, what is the role of dynein in cilia? Answer, dynein, such as axomal dynein, plays a role in the movement of cilia by linking peripheral nine doublets and causing bending of cilium by differential sliding of doublets. Question, how do gap junctions contribute to the coordinated movement of cilia? Answer, gap junctions allow for communication and coordination between cilia, allowing for coordinated movement. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.